Okay, so for then questions three on, uh, classify the following relations as a function or not a function. So based off what we talked about in our notes today, we want to look at the different relations that we have here as a mapping diagram, as a table, as a graph, as an ordered pairs, and figure out if these are considered functions or not. So it's all about the domain, looking at the domain first on numbers three, four, and five. I want to see if anything in the domain is being repeated and then therefore having um, a different output, a different range for it. So what I notice on number three then here is there is no, there's only one line coming out of each input, each domain. So this is the domain, this is the range, and because nothing is being doubled up then, uh, this is going to be considered a function. On uh, number four, three, two, one, zero, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Again, out of each of these, the domain is the x's, is the y's, so you can call it a couple different ways, all right? Inputs, outputs, nothing again has more than one line coming out of it, so this would be considered a function. Now, if for some reason uh, negative two was also going up here to 10, negative two is going to 10 and negative two is going to two, then it would have been not a function. But because each of the inputs there, the x's, the domains, has only one line coming out of it and all going to unique y's, then we're good to go. One unique y. Number five, the same idea. They just ran in a different order. And what I notice right here is right there. Three and three. The x is getting repeated. And more, most importantly, it's going to three, four, and three is going to seven. So because three is going to both four and seven, that cannot happen. It cannot go to different y's. Six, seven, and eight, use your vertical line test. Okay, so my vertical line test for graphs, I'm taking literally my pencil, my finger, and dragging it across. As I drag it across, it can only hit it at one point at a time. So six is a function. One point at a time, all good, all good, all good, all good, all good, all good, all good. It's a function. Number eight is not. It's failing all throughout here. That vertical line is hitting the graph at more than one point at a time, which is considered not a function. So as I drag that back, we said this was a function. And also, this is a quadratic graph. If I could spell quadratic nicely. Number seven, we said that was a function. And then number eight, we said was not a function because it's failing here, here, here. All, all throughout this graph, it's hitting a vertical line more than one place. Number nine, it's a table of values again. So I'm looking at the x's to start off with. And I don't see anything being repeated on the x's. So because those are all unique x's, um, we are good to go. This is a function. Number nine, or 10 and 11, use your vertical line tests. And as I use that vertical line, use your pencil, use your finger, and drag it vertically across, one point at a time. Drag it slowly, and this is all good. This is a function. Drag it slowly, this is all good. That is a function as well. So both 10 and 11 are considered functions. Okay, then the last one, last three, 12 through 14, 12 through 14 looks just like a table on number 9 and 5, and also like a similar to a mapping diagram 3 and 4. It's just a different way we can arrange the values. So the domain, we really start off by the domain. I look at the x's, and on that domain is anything being repeated to start off with. No. Those are all unique values, so as soon as I realize they're all unique values, this is a function. Number 13, uh, identify the domain to start off with. And I've got negative 2, negative 2, well, I get all negative 2s. So because the x is being repeated, they're negative 2 being repeated um, multiple times. And then most importantly, negative 2 is going to 5, 4, 7, and negative 5. That can't happen. That negative 2 can only go to the same x, same, same y. And that's not happening. It's going to different y's. So this is not a function. Now, how that could happen here, or sorry, how that could still be a function is if it was going to say all the same y. 
So let's say they had repeated this right here. Negative 2 going to 5, 5, well, heck, it's the exact same y value. So that's like saying the same point four times over. This is where you actually could have had a function then. Okay, it looks a little weird to say the same thing all four times, but if that x being negative 2 is going to different y's, then it's not a function. But that was going to 5, so that could have been a function. Last one here is number 14. For that domain is where I start off with. 2, negative 3, 8.6, and negative 2 thirds. Hey, all those domains, all those x's are different, so that's good to go. Yes, they are going to the same y, but I don't care about that. I want to notice is if, the, if it's um, an x being repeated, going to the, the different y. So 14 is considered to be a yes, okay? What you actually have on number 14, and we'll talk about this over the next few days, if we make a graph of this, if I just sketch out a quick graph, let's label those, or plot those points. 2, 5 would be like right here. Negative 3, 5 would be like here. 8.6, 5 would be here. Negative 2 thirds, 5. And what you would start to create is a horizontal line. And if I use my vertical line test again, okay, and drag it across, well, horizontal line, um, it's not great. Let's try this again. Give myself some room so I can grab it. So anyway, as I was saying, if I take that vertical line and drag it across, it's only hitting that horizontal line one point at a time. So visually, that's why it's passing the vertical line test, why we call it a function, okay? So just another way to look at those type of things, and that's what we're trying to get you guys to see is 